So, Michelle, I hear you all have a question. You all have a question for Steve, and it is? Yes. Yes. Hi, Steve. Hi. Uh, our question is, these are all my best friends, and we're successful, intelligent, and beautiful women, as you can see. <laughs> um, we're successful entrepreneurs, uh, brand marketing specialists, you know, fashion designers, et cetera. And where do you find not just a man, but a good man? You mean, where do you find? I mean, mm -hmm. look. We don't know where you find a great woman at, you know? I mean, you know, they just happen along. There's no, there's no particular spot to go. You can't go to a club and he's gonna be there. He may not be at church, you know? He just, he just happens along, but you all are very successful women. And I think sometimes, sometimes, I'm just saying something, just give you something to think about. Some successful women have had good men and didn't know it because you do not know what comprises a good man. You don't know the DNA of a good man. See, a, a man shows his love very differently from a woman. And I call them in the book the three P's of love. We profess, we provide, and we protect. If you're so successful, and a man knows this, and you exude success, which you should, please don't stop being successful. But understand, a man has got to see where he fits into the providing and protecting role. If you got everything, you know everything. You can do everything. No, you got your own know. car. You got your, You got all this. You, you can protect. You got a guard dog and a handgun. <laughs> the guy is thinking, where do I fit no, in here? You've got to make a, a space for him to fit in so he can come in and do what men do. May, may I say this? I say this, this to my friend Gail all the time, who says the same thing you all are saying. Where do you find a man? Where do you find a man? You guys are intimidating to men. You guys? Oh, heard we heard that. Heard that. Well, okay, and let me just explain to you what I mean, because when I said that to Gail, she goes, I don't think that's true. Are they not, isn't this intimidating to, to man when you cannot find a way to do the three Ps? Because a man is sizing you up, trying to see exactly what Steve was saying. Where does he fit in? Women with the handbags and the furs and the coats and the shoes, a guy is looking at all of that. Absolutely. Seeing if... If, if, he can, if he can afford this. That's if right. He, That's right. 